continuing coverage of a cold case killing. It happened outside a Southwest Omaha bar that was shut down shortly after. And since then, a new bar has moved in. The mother of the victim says she believes violence will eventually strike again. But the owners tell our Joe Chiotto it won't under their watch. It's been a year of hard work inside Rhythms Bistro and Lounge near 108th and Q, according to owner Gordon Brown. We've changed literally everything because uh, this is totally different than what passion is. Back in December 2013, when this was passions, Janae Hayden was gunned down in the crossfire of the parking lot. Her killer still out there. 19 months later, her mom, Amy Freeman, is worried it could happen again. It just seems the last few months things have started to get violent. Police have reported to the lounge more than a dozen times this summer. We brought up those concerns with Gordon back inside Rhythms, but he says that happens at most bars, and they are taking steps to make sure those calls don't escalate. Everything that we do here at Rhythms Lounge and Bistro start with safety in mind. Uh, security is priority number one. Our, our customers is our priority. Uh, without them, we don't exist. Of 10 911 calls from July 9th to August 27th, seven have been domestic issues, disturbances, or crowd complaints. Dispatch says one with more than 100 people in the parking lot. On August 16th, dispatch says a call went out for 10 to 12 shots fired in the parking lot, but nobody was hurt. Yeah, that's very concerning to me because that's exactly what happened with my daughter. Unfortunately, she was struck by one of those bullets when that happened. We're the one that makes those calls because, again, we want our, sa our customers to be uh, safe. He says that's an important side of the story. Dispatch records show managers of the bar do often make the calls. And paperwork shows off-duty officers are hired to work alongside a private security firm. Amy says she doesn't want it shut down. She just worries those crowds can't be controlled and it will happen again. And if I've saved one life doing that, then I've done my job. I've done my job. Gordon says he sympathizes with her. My heart goes out to the family of Janae Hayden. But wants people to know that his bar is different than before. What we really wanted to do was to really and truly provide a, uh, an entertainment venue uh, for people to come feel safe, have a great time, enjoy themselves, and leave and go home safely. Joining you live now from the bar right here at 108th and Q. And important to note, the nightclub portion of the bar right behind me stays open until about 2 a.m. So it definitely uh, attracts a similar crowd that it really has for years. But there have been some changes made. Uh, actually, they split half of the bar up into a full service restaurant on one side. And they also offer dancing lessons throughout the evening hours of the week. So definitely some changes made from the previous bar that it once was. John Mallory. Well, Joe, what do businesses nearby actually say about the crowds? Yeah, that's one thing I did touch base on as well. The businesses inside this plaza that sit next to the bar, well, those aren't even open at 2 a.m. when that crowd lets out. But the QT gas station right across the street, well, I checked in with them, and they said that they actually close for about 40 minutes around 2 a.m. when they do let out because they say sometimes that crowd spills over and they, quote, sometimes make things difficult, cause problems, and steal things. John Mallory will send it back to you. All right, Joe, thanks. If you have any information about Janae Hayden's death, call 402-444-STOP.